Hi, hi, how are you? How are you today? Fine, teacher. Uy, no tiene frío. Yo tengo frío. It's kind of cold here. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, hmm. Let's get the list. Ready? Adriana Maria? Adriana Sofia? Present teacher. Ana Alicia? Ana? Sofia Ana. Luz Antonio. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. No here. Elmer Fabricio. Eh, Elsa Cristina. No here, Elsa Cristina. Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Yes. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer, José Alberto, José Alberto, José Alfredo, José Alfredo, hello, Carla Lorena, Carla Lorena, no. Mario. <clears throat> I'm here. I'm here. Mario. Okay. Yeah. Nubia Marisa. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. <coughs> Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. No está Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Uh -huh. Eh, Víctor. Teacher, Víctor says that it's Brady. Mm -hmm. Okay, but is he connected here? Mm -hmm. Ah, but he's not connected. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe. Mm 
Claudia Guadalupe. Uh -huh. No here. Mauri Mauricio Emilio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, sorry. Um, hmm. Mauricio here, right? Yes, teacher. Vamos a ver, many people were, were absent or, or at least didn't say present when I call you. Adriana Maria, no here. Adriana Maria. Analicia. Present teacher. Okay. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabrice, Elsa Cristina, Grace Michelle. Elsa is connecting her. Okay. Grace Michelle, Yvonne Marcela, Jennifer, Jose Alberto, Jose Alfredo, Carla. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Rebeca, Marcela, Rosy, Victor, Claudia, Carolina, mhm, uh -huh. eh, very good. Qué poquitos veo ahora. Bien, poquitos, poquitos, poquitos. Mm. Mm. I, I didn't understand the question, Mario Ernesto, that you put in the chat. Uh, it, it was because uh, you you say that uh, uh, it was cool where, where you are. The question is, what's a joke? Uh, okay. If you like to, to pass away in ice or, or you like to pass away in lava? Because I prefer uh, cool, cool, I prefer cool. Oh. I, I prefer to pass away uh, on ice. Okay. To spend, you mean to spend time or to die? No. <laughs> to die, to die, to die. Oh. To die. Okay. Because that, that, that is crazy. It is a joke. <laughs> Felipe answered to you in ice, he said. In ice, no. It's... You can do the boat if you do fly. <laughs> that would be better, right? Yeah, yeah, but, but imagine that you will suffer more than the. In lava than ice, where when you pass away in ice, you maybe you can uh, fall asleep. Mm. But in lava, in lava, you it are usually <laughs> you, you, yeah you yeah you will pass away immediately. But uh, on lava, you you have to wait to to well, the old you both your bones. You're cooking oh. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> to feel the smell of food, to feel hungry after cooking. No. <laughs> Ay, no qué terrible. <laughs> well, uh, today. Uh -huh. 
I was reading an article that said that you, uh, if you die, how do you say ahogado? Drunk. Drunk, uh -huh. You have to wait for 120 seconds uh -huh, to that your, your chest stop mm -hmm. to breathe. Wow. So you can still be moving. Well, the body moves when people die. You can listen to the air moving inside the body. Yeah. Imagine. Ay, no. ¿Y por qué estamos hablando de muerte? Estamos bien bonitos, bien vivitos. Vaya, let's see. <laughs> uh, today, the, the, the topic is uh, how to use would rather. Yeah. To learn the use of would rather to express one's preference in a particular matter. How to use would rather. And we use it when we want to express preference. So Mario can ask, would you rather die in ice or in lava? Okay, because instead of prefer, you can also use would rather, right? That's another uh, structure that we can use. Let's see. I'm going to send you to the groups right now for you to go discuss these questions. Would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Or well, does competition affect businesses negatively? How? Right? Remember yesterday we were talking about the competition and all the stages that you have in the in the life cycle of the product, right? And the competition is one, one of those things. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go discuss the questions a couple of minutes and then we will come back and share. This, um, well, we are in the manual. Oh, I'm in serio, tengo frío. In, on, pay, on activity one, right, page 12. Page 12. Okay. There you go. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to discuss the questions. Okay, say what you want, what, what you think. Let me see, you are 12. Oy. Sí, siendo un gato en el polo norte. <laughs> 12, I'm going to make groups of three, yes. Mm -hmm. ah, there you go. Join, join your group and discuss. Discuss, discuss. Mm -hmm. Carla Lorena. Oh. Carla Lorena Grace. Grace, Grace, Grace. No la he visto activa ningún día, Grace. Hello. Okay. What page? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Will you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Yes. What do you think? I think we have fierce competitors. We distribute snacks and cookies in, in, in the United States. And I think there's there is many companies that that sell the same product. Uh, 
I think it uh, depends on the product because, the, for example, the hot dogs is a very competent. It's a, it's a furious competitor. Fierce competence. Uh, in, in each uh, in the street, you you find the the carritos, como se dice, los carritos móviles. Bueno, por mi ruta, por ejemplo, donde voy trabajando, encontrás un montón de carritos de venta de hot dog. Los choripanes. Los choripanes, oh, yes. Choripan. Los choripanes, mm. yes. Entonces, I think the, the competition is fierce, ¿sabes? Fierce. Fierce. Fierce competition affect business negatively? Uh, Years competitors compete. This is about fierce competitors meaning. A fierce competitor meaning. Company competitors are companies who are trying to sell similar goods or services. Teacher, I have a question. I need to, well, we need to replace the or practice the... To discuss the questions, that's all. Just discuss the questions. So only discuss. Mm. Only oh. the questions, yeah. Enough. Well, I suppose that every company... Hi, hi. Finish. Hi. Finish, finished. Now? Did you finish? Not yet. The question? No. What's the question? No. no, teacher, because I disconnect because uh, <laughs> I have no energy and I, I, I don't know what is that, that I, I have to do. You have to, you're on page 12, Talita, you're discussing the questions right now. <laughs> and Mauricio was explaining so <laughs> t-shirt is about the page 12 Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't understand that. <laughs> My bad. Discuss the questions alone, just with what you know. Remember. Remember. Do you believe that your company has fierce competition? Competitors. <laughs> that competition affect business neg negatively. The, remember what we were discussing in class yesterday, right? <laughs> oh, teacher, you get. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. no. Remember what we were discussing yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Is uh, about the page twelve. Mm -hmm. No. The the questions are about what you know. It says your company, right? 
affects your company. You're not discussing the questions about the page. You're discussing the questions about your company. And what is the question or what is, what is, the, what is the task? You are discussing the questions in activity one on page 12. Okay, okay, okay. So. Use your background knowledge, Chico. What were we talking about yesterday? We talked about a lot about competition. Remember? Would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Does competition affect business neg negatively? How? That is the that is the task. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, about your company, right? Don't think about yeah. the, the reading. No, we will see that mm -hmm. later. About okay. Your okay. Uh, first, first competitor is like a, a high competitors. Or oh, what is the mean for fierce? Fiero. Fiero. Ah, okay. Uh, my company is um, it's a big company, and I think it, it doesn't work. Or the that exceeds one competitors um, a little bit more. Uh, or a little bit uh, bigger or than, than my company. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, competitor, competitors uh, behind or behind others, others laboratories. Okay, but does your company have fierce competitors? Yes or no? Yes. 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 yes, it has. Yes, it has. Why do you say so? Uh, because we, we have to do many activities from marketing and we have uh, to in to in, in to, we have to uh, show in television, on the radio, uh, in social media, and about our products. Mm -hmm. And if all of all of the things uh, don't exist, uh -huh. maybe my, maybe our company. A good, a good, uh, good end. Sell the products that uh, that the way that they do. Uh -huh. Probably the products are different, right? But the competition exists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Adriana Maria? Do you does your company have competitors? think that the, my company is going to be affected, but the first competitors make me to innovate in a constant form or make me take decisions about how be better than these first competitors or make me uh, understand that I need to study more my products, the um, the way that I'm sailing, um, um, the decisions that I'm making. So I think that affect me in a negative form, but also um, make me realize that I need to be better day by day and um, have uh, more, I don't know, <laughs> um, be be better than than I'm now. So I think that it, it depends. It depends how you you take that 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 competition. I think that make me realize that I need to be better. 
the best peers competitors. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely having competition is good for the company because if a company has no competition, they relax, right? They relax and they stop growing because they say, ah, nobody competes with me. So I'm everything. There is nobody else who does what I do. So they relax a lot. And that's why the competitors are good for a company because they make the company continue work growing, right? Mm -hmm. That's something that happens. Bueno, let's go then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Almost, almost. A ver, how many minutes? Hmm. Minutes, seconds. Thirteen seconds. Three seconds. Okay. Nice, everybody here. Okay, tell me, would you agree that your company has fierce competitors? Yes, or well, you say, mm, no, we do not have competitors. That's yes. your company. Yes. company. Yes? Yes, it's good. Yes, it's necessary. Okay, a lot of competitors. Yes, we were reading something, teacher. Uh -huh. Dice que the presence of competition means that the customer have the option to choose either your business or another business, could be product. Yes. When there is competition, you know that customers are using your business or product, not because you are the only one out there, but because among the others out there, you appeal, them, them, you, you appeal to them most. Dice que competition is important for your for your business because it provides reasons that you're getting customers because, because of the quality of your products and services. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And something that I was telling to a group also is that a, having competition, it, in some moment you can think well, it's negative because they are taking my clients, right? Oh, my customers are going with the, with the competition. But in some way, it is positive because if you have a, competi a competitor, you try to improve. And then what you said is, is true then you get to know that the customers that are with are still with you are with you because uh, your product is the best right so that's why the customers are there are still there with you and for the com for the customers the competition is positive too because there is a balance in prices while if there is only one company. I don't know when the youngest ones will probably not remember, but the ones that are about my age will remember. Uh, many years ago, you, do you remember how difficult it was to get a phone line? You wanted to have a telephone line in your house and you had to wait for a year for them to give you the line. And you had to pay 5,000, thanks God they were colonies, but imagine paying 5,000 colonies for you to get the connection of the telephone in your house. 
now or no, you don't pay anything for getting the, the telephone. They go offering it to you, right? And with the arrival of the cell phones, everything is easier and there is more competition. So at the end, the, the telephone companies have to improve their services that they offer to people. And the people have an advantage that the prices now are not that high. And the other thing that it is easier to get a phone now, right? It's not as before that was really, really hard. I remember we were waiting for a phone line about three years. Imagine now you go and the same day you go out with a line, right? So it, things have definitely have changed. Okay, let's go to the conversation now. Yeah, okay. you're going to practice this conversation but before we will read it together. Let's read it. We have a uh, Rina and Julius, right? Julio, they are uh, talking. They, it says, listen to your instructor, read the conversation below. So we have a uh, Julio and Rina and they are talking about the best solutions to deal with market saturation. So the market is saturated and now what can we do with that? And they are giving options for dealing with that situation. Okay, let's read. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You're right. Although it is no surprise with this competition, I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Okay, now you're ready to repeat after me. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast. The sales, the sales in the last two months were growing really, really fast. fast. But now they are decreasing. Now, but but now, now they are decreasing. decreasing. You're right. You're right. You're right. Although it is no surprise with this competition. Although it is no surprise right. with this competition. I agree. I agree. I must figure a solution to the market saturation. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know? you know? However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. However, we have invested a lot in this product. Okay, well, I'm going to send you to the rooms right now, but this time in pairs for you to go practice the conversation. Let's see how many people we are. 14, 14, 14. Hmm. Okay. If you are, okay, we will make seven groups, right? We'll send you in pairs. Okay. There you go. Victor, are you still driving, Victor? Okay. Bueno, let's go. 
point and remember practice the conversation and discuss the questions that are in the following part after the conversation. Okay, join, join. Try to join. Hi. la puede ver? Sí, pero lo veo en la página de abajo. To next page. Mm -hmm. Next 12. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Yes. Ahí. Okay. Okay, if you want I can be Rina. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, Hi, teacher. Yes. I am alone. No, you're not alone. Ahí está Claudia Guadalupe. But she's not here. No. Oh, qué barbaridad. Ya me la llevo, Carlita. Ding. Uy, la iba a mandar a otro solito. <laughs> Mm. Ah, okay, there we go. Launch the product, then discontinue it. Switch. Your microphone. All right. Okay. Okay, the sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. Sales, sales. 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 The sales, the sales, the sales. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You are right. Although it's, it is no surprise with this competition. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with the market situation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Okay. Um, the sales in the last two months were growing really less, but now they are decreasing. You are right, although it is no surprise with this competition. I agree, we must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many, comp many companies could prefer to withdraw the product, you know? However, they stop growing. True. Mm -hmm. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. True. Uh, true. Mm -hmm. Will prefer Yo entiendo que lo que ahí dice es está, le están preguntando a uno si, si una compañía va a retirar el producto del mercado es, lo van a descontinuar. It is true. Uh -huh. pero, pero en el diálogo no, según entiendo, no, no quieren retirarlo. Pero hay una, o sea, tiene razón, 
pero hay una, ahí dice que muchas, com, many companies sí, sí. prefer to withdraw the product, you know. O sea, lo que está diciendo que muchas compañías lo que van a hacer es retirar el producto. Preferirían retirar. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 ya entendí la pregunta. Ah, pues sería true. Creo yo, pero... No, correcto, debería ser true. Ah, if sales decrease, they stop growing. True or false? The sales decrease, they stop growing. To me, it is true. Yes. Because. because I think yes. it's true. <laughs> I don't know. Teacher, what do you think? About the, the first is true or false? If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it, no. No. It's false. It's false. Okay. Okay, it's false. Because, Ah, but it says not temporarily, right? Sería como para siempre. Ajá, para siempre. Yeah, if they take it out forever, they discontinue it. Ajá. Yeah, because it says not temporarily. If it is not temporarily, it's forever, right? They discontinue it. But if they take it out just for a couple of, of days, then that is not a discontinued. It's not discontinued. Okay. Uh, Next blue is an example. See, so, yeah, that will be true. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to give you one more minute and then we go out. Okay, vamos a ver how many people still know here. Well, 11, eight seconds, right? Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. great, great. Hey, yeah, who's a teacher? A ver. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Volunteers, who wants to be Rina, who wants to be Julio? Me, Rina. Okay. Julio? Me, teacher. Okay, Maya, go ahead. The sales in the last two months were growing really fast, but now they are decreasing. You're right, although is not surprised with these competitors. I agree. We must figure a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies would prefer to withdraw the product, um, you know. However, we have invested a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product 
can discontinue it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they relaunch, that means that they withdraw the product for some time, they improve it and they relaunch it again, right? But when you discontinue the product, you, you withdraw the product and forever, right? You don't relaunch it again. Now, let's see the questions. If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it. True. 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 If it is because it is, it says no temporarily, right? So they take it out forever, they discontinue it. If sales decrease, they stop growing. True. 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 Rina, first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. True. True. Again. Again, all of them are true. Nice, nice. Well, today we're going to talk about this uh, point of would rather. Would rather means prefer. What would you prefer? What would you rather, right? Um, check. I'd rather eat fish than I. I'd rather eat chicken than fish. So you use that, right? I rather eat chicken than fish. I'd rather stay home than go out. I'd rather go to the beach than go to the zoo. You can use the long form, say would I would rather or the short form, that's I'd, I'd rather. I'd rather go to the beach than go to the zoo. What, especially, what teacher, hmm? especially, because we don't have a zoo. Oh. Don't tell me that I grew going to the zoo. Teresa. Teresa, you can go to the it's zoo. How many zoo? Many, zoo. Right. Let's use what we have. <laughs> okay. That's why I'd rather go to the beach. Right. It's cheaper with ten dollars. You eat at the beach, right? But with ten dollars, you only enter to the zoo. Okay. Uh, check. We're talking here about prefer preference. Preference. Give you. Give me a second. We're talking about preference and choice, yeah? Would you rather wait here than go with me? Yes. Wait here. So check if you're talking, eh, be careful with the answer, right? It's similar to when somebody tells you, would you mind opening the door? And you say, yes. So if you say yes, it's that you mind. O sea que no va a abrir, quiere abrir, right? Do, would you mind opening the door? Yes. Okay, so you mind. You don't want to open. If you say, no, no, I don't mind, that means you will open. So the same is here. Would you rather wait here than go with me? Yes. Yes, for wait here. Would you rather wait here than go with me? No. I would rather go with you. See, if you say yes, you're answering yes for the first option. Yes. Would you rather wait here or go with me? Yes. Yes, okay. I would rather wait here. Would you rather wait here than go with me? No, I would rather go with you. Yes. And here we have another one. Would you rather eat cake than ice cream? Yes, I would rather eat cake. Would you rather eat cake than ice cream? No, I would rather eat ice cream. So this is when we're talking about preferences. 
But check in that case, when we're talking about preferences, we use done, right? And when you're talking about choice, you use or. Would you rather eat something or take a nap? I would rather eat something. Would you rather play soccer or basketball? I would rather play basketball. Would you rather drink coffee or soda? Hmm? Uh, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Would you rather eat pizza or chicken? I'd rather eat chicken. Would you rather eat fried banana or fried mahoncho? <laughs> mahoncho, right? Banana. Banana, okay, fried banana. Would you rather go to the beach or go to a mountain? That is hard. Hmm? That is hard. Why? You like both? Both, definitely. Okay. Hi, hi. Samsung Galaxy. I need that you change your name. And I'm you sorry, can... can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Sorry, I'm Eddie Palacios. Uh, sorry for to be a little late. Uh, and I'm trying uh, uh, Eddie. to start to, 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 to learn okay. with, uh, with you. And, and sorry for uh, uh, to be a little late. Let me see, Eddie, 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 Eddie. What's your other name? Oh, Eddie Jonathan. Yes, I I'm going to change your name because if no, at the time they call attendance. I will say you're not here. Bah, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's see. Would you rather, let's go back, right? Would you rather, would you rather mm, drink cold water or water that is... Okay? Sure, so listen to the difference. Yeah. Uh, because it's not me. Okay, would you rather drink cold water? or warm water? Hmm? Would you rather drink cold water or warm water? I'd rather drink oh, teacher. For water. example, for a coffee or for a tea? Mm -hmm. No, no, when I say warm, I mean al tiempo. No. Oh. Oh, explain that. Uh -huh. would, you uh, would you rather drink cold water or warm water? Because some people like water from the refrigerator, right? From the warm. refrigerator. Very, very cold with ice. What would you rather? Warm. Cold ice. Cold water. Warm, warm water at the time, right? No cold, no, no hot. Okay. Well, look at this. When we have this structure, we use would rather plus a subject. So I'd rather you. In this case, we want somebody to do something, right? I would rather somebody do this something. Quisiera, right? That's when you say, quisiera que hicieras algo. Yeah. I would rather, I'd rather you 
I'd rather you prepare the dinner. I'd rather you came home earlier. But this is another story. One thing is what you prefer or what you choose. And the other is when you want something from somebody, someone, right? You want uh, somebody to do something for you. Okay? I'd rather you to start your camera. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So <laughs> I'd rather you. Okay. What would you rather people do? I'd rather you ate in science. I'd rather you didn't smoke, right? I'd rather you were not so noisy. But check, be careful with the structures. If we're talking about preference, you say, would you rather wait? Would you rather wait here, then go? Would you rather do this than do this? ¿Qué prefiere? Después, ¿qué escoge? Would you rather eat something or take a nap? Would you rather watch TV or go to the movies? Right? That is choice. Now let's go to the let's go to the money. Check the money. We sell that when we use this structure, we have would rather and the verb in the base form when we're talking about preference, right? Here we are going, I was sharing with you the other two uses because from time to time, you may find any of the two uses. But today we are going to use it just to express preference. So you say would rather plus form plus the base form, right? Many companies would would rather withdraw the product, you know. We would rather relaunch the product and discontinue it. Or you can also use the, uh, the, the short form, right? So you can say they they'd rather. They would rather, like would complete. They would rather, or they'd rather. They'd rather withdraw the product. They'd rather relaunch the product. They'd rather, or they would rather. Any of the ones you want to use, it's okay. But the, con the, con the contraction or the short form is more for speaking, right? When writing, it's not so common that you write the, uh, the short form. You use mostly the short form when speaking. But or, excuse me. Mm -hmm. But what is the difference? I didn't under I didn't hear you. Uh, the difference between I prefer and rather it. Mm -hmm. I prefer or rather. Now what is the difference? Between prefer. In rather, there is no difference. There is no difference. The only difference is the use, but the meaning is the same. So you say, I would rather uh, eat chicken than pizza. I would prefer to eat chicken than pizza. Yeah, I prefer to eat chicken. Pero when you use prefer, you say, I prefer to, pero I would rather. No lleva to. See, in the structure, that would be the difference. If you use would rather, no to. In what time? Is, in what time were when we we use this expression? Would rather than prefer. You can use any of them. It's the same. It's the same. ¿Qué prefiere? Que prefiere. So the, the translation is the same. The use is the same. The only difference is this, that prefer uses to and rather no. That's the only difference. Mm -hmm. But the E is exactly the same, right? It's the same meaning. Remember that sometimes, well, even in Spanish, we have the same that we use 
uh, two different forms of saying the same thing, right? So this is one of those cases when you have two different things to say the same. And if you see, the, this is to express preference. And when you say, I prefer, you are expressing preference, right? So the, there is no difference there. Before I forget, I want to check attendance. Oh, yeah, because it's 9.02. Vamos a ver, Adriana Maria. I'm present. Oh, okay, Ay, nice. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Present teacher. Eddie. 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 Say present, Eddie. Eddie Jonathan. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm here. Present. Okay. I forgot the microphone. Oh, okay. okay. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix, Felix Enrique. I'm here. Grace Michelle. Grace. Grace, Grace, no. Julia Grace, que estaba por ahí. Pero no, no está. Ok, Yvonne Marcela. José Alberto. Mm. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. No. José Alberto. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present Mario. Here. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebecca. Rebecca. Rosy. Victor Manuel. Victor. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia, okay. Claudita. I saw you already. Bye. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Remember, we're talking about would rather, talking about preference, right? Talking about preference. Can you tell me a sentence? Mm -hmm. Give me a sentence, give me an example. Okay, would you rather eat breakfast or dinner? Okay, would you rather eat breakfast? Well, I rather eat both. <laughs> 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 Pussy. No, don't make me choose between food. I want both, not just one, right? What about the others? Do you want only one or, or you want the two? The two breakfast and dinner. Two times. <laughs> Pussy, breakfast is better than dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I prefer I prefer bre breakfast because uh, you need uh, to eat breakfast to to work all day and dinner. Well, you need to well if you are a child you need to to have the dinner to, to grow up. 
แบบอ่อนดึง <laughs> only if you're a child come on Maria <laughs> bad don't be bad I need both breakfast and dinner and lunch too <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't sacrifice any, especially if you have to finish work at 11 p.m. You need to have dinner. If no, in the middle of the class like this, right? And no much coffee. And what? And a lot of no, pero ya no. I I get this is how many cups have I drank today? I guess this is the number five four. i guess this is the number four or number five something like that today today because i have been working from home and i have been in class in seven o'clock in the morning that's why this is my cup i don't know if it's number four or number five pero ya no tiene chiste. so uh -uh. it's better the water at this moment ya no no more coffee no more coffee. I don't like it anymore. Maybe tomorrow I will feel it like good again, but right now, mm -mm. bye. Check. We were saying we will school rather with preference, right? With preference. That there is something else to add. And check this. You use this expression would much rather for a stronger preference. This form is more common in speaking than in writing. So you say, I'd, I'd much rather, right? I'd much rather hire a different designer. Sounds like kind of weird. Preferiría mucho, no? <laughs> That's what you would say, right? Something went wrong with the art in the labels of the product. I'd much rather hire a different designer. Green tortricas. Do you remember the green tortricas? Green tortricas cannot compete with the low prices of other chips. We'd much rather lower our prices. Mm -hmm. But we use with much rather if we want to make a strong preference. If no, no. If no, you say I would rather. Right? I would rather go with you than stay here. I would rather go to the beach than going to the river, to the mountain. I would rather drink something cold than something hot. I would rather drink a tea than a cup of coffee. No more coffee, not for today. Okay? Any questions in the structure? No question. Just remember, remember, and look at this. We use would rather, ah, what is it? Would rather and the verb in the base form, right? Would rather and the verb in the base form. So means no tu, verdad? No tu no es, nothing. Just the verb in the base form. Now, look at this exercise. What you're going to do here is, a ver, what are you going to do? Que yo no miro las instructions ahorita. Unscramble order. The <laughs> yeah. Put the words in order, right? To create sentences. So you put the words in order to create sentences. You say, the creative team would rather ask to design the manager a relaunch. Relaunch of the product. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's order. We will do it individual because we have the other part will be in groups. Okay. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to, to work. Yeah. Move the words, make the sentences, put the words in order.
The creative team would rather ask to design the manager and relaunch of the product. Not because you can use to <laughs> using the base farm. Uh -huh. Go quickly, go quickly, go carefully. I'm going for some water while you finish. Let me see. Oh, camera, where is it? Mm -hmm. Yes, let me see. Oh, the creative yes. team will rather ask the manager to design a relaunch of product. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's okay. Ajan, let, let's finish. Take your time. Do all the five while I go for water and then we check. Did you finish now? The number one? Okay. Or all? All. All. Oh. <laughs> See, but Not I yet. Not do. yet. Mm -hmm. So when we start checking, we check them all, right? Not just one. 
but old. I think that number three and number five are in the correct order. Mm -hmm. I I think that number three and number five are in the correct order. Hmm. No exactly. You think they are not scramble? Not exactly. No. All of the all of the sentences we can we have to read we have to order order it yeah order it there okay um okay. For the first number five is kind of weird, I will tell you, but it's not it's not in order. In some cases, you don't have to make such a big change, but, but all of them have to be changed. I won't make you more suffer more. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go compare. Compare with your partners. Let me see. I'm going to send you in groups. Now we are huh? Okay. Cha -cha -cha -cha. That's my groups for the people that are not here. Pues, go compare, compare with your partners, try to join and check what you have, right? Eddie, por ahí le aparece una llamada, unas... Um, 
Mario. Mario, lo veo mero borroso. Ahí está. Try to join. Nice. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, Analicia está por ahí. Hello. Hi, no, desde solo, Juan. <laughs> okay, in that first um, sentences, I see that the manager will rather ask the creative team to design our launch of the product. Have the same. Repeat, please. The, the one. manager will mm -hmm. rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay. And you, Adriana? Tell me. And you? I have the same. The same? Yes. Okay. Analicia? Alicia. Okay. The yeah, my... my mom is coming. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two, Novia. Many distributor will rather much sell our product at a lower price. Many, many company would rather operate us as a premium option once the product it is in decline stage. Yeah, I guess it is. Mm -hmm. And the other one. Many companies, many more companies. Yes. Companies um, would rather become the low cost provider. The low, the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price wars. See, sí, yes. I'm a great. No. The decline the stage uh, once the product is in decline stage. Uh, Mira, it's así. Many, the, many. the manager, the manager, uh -huh. uh, would rather ask to be ready thing. To the team creating uh -huh. to the uh, to the eyes are uh, uh, like yes. Oh, no, creo. 
to the sign Rare would rather operate as a premium, as a premium option. option. Okay, entonces, once the product is on the clean stage, we'll rather operate, or no, no, no many, many, companies, many companies, many companies will rather operate as a premium option. I'm not sure. The Now we ready, right? Right. See what is number one. The manager. Mm -hmm. The manager will rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Yes, the manager will rather ask the creative yes. team to design a relaunch. A relaunch of the product. Mm -hmm. A relaunch of the product number five is okay. Nice. What about number two? Many, Many competitors. Distributors hmm? Competitors would rather launch, sell, or product at a lower price. Okay. Many distributors would rather. Would rather much or would much rather? Would rather much. Miren, would much rather. Que hay un errorcillo. ¿Verdad? Would much rather. Would much rather, okay. Would much rather. Would much rather mm. would much rather sell our product at a lower price. Mm -hmm. uh, many many distributors would ra would much rather sell <laughs> our product mm -hmm. at a lower price. Yes, at a lower price. Okay. What about number three? They would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in a new market. Mm -hmm. They would rather withdraw the product. Ah, me quedo en todo está ahí. They would rather withdraw the product 
then introduce it in new market. Uh -huh. What about number four? As a premium option, we we'll rather operate once the product is in the planning stage. Many companies. Many companies will rather operate. Many companies will rather operate as a premium option. Hmm. Sounds weird. Many companies will rather operate once the product is in the climbing stage as a premium option. Mm. Another possibility. Many companies will rather operate once the product is in the decline stage. And the, and the part that is missing? As a premium option. Maybe it can be many companies would rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have like that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, because as a premium option, if you leave it at the end, it sounds like it doesn't fit, right? So you say many companies will rather operate as a premium option once the product is in the decline stage. Okay, number five. Many more many companies, more companies. will really become with uh, the low cost provider of product with great caution about price wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> many companies would rather become a low cost provider of a product with great caution about price wars. Yes, this one, right? Many companies. Like that? Many, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price wars. Yes. Okay. Patch. De acuerdo? De acuerdo, de acuerdo todos? Something, something that confused yes. me. Um, some of my of my uh, partners was that uh, the capital letter and the point. I'm so sorry. I'm crazy about capital letters, and the ones that have been with me know. I cannot be. I cannot have something at the beginning if it's not with capital letters. Okay? So whenever you write a sentence, remember to put capital letter at the beginning, period at the end. That's why I put capital letter to everything. <laughs> because they were at the beginning. Yeah, but it is in this situation. Uh, 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 not, not. It's a tricky, it's a tricky. Exactly, that's part of the tricky. If I put the capital letter to the first uh, word, I'm giving you, I, if I'm- It's a little bit difficult. Exactly. The thing is that if I put the capital letter to the first word, I'm giving you the first point, right? That's the thing. Yeah, but that's confused. <laughs> that's confused. That's the idea to be tricky, a little bit tricky for you to think a little bit more. Now, check. We will leave this for tomorrow because of the time and we will move here. Tomorrow at the moment of reviewing the, the exercise or reviewing the structure, we're going to do those exercises. Monday maybe, teacher? Well, as I'm teaching tomorrow, <laughs> I'm in direct at tomorrow. Yeah, Monday. Okay, check. You're going to work in groups here. You're going to choose a renowned product service that is saturating the market. What renowned product or service is saturating the market? What you're going to do here is discuss this question. What effect does the market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? 
what strategies are the competitor companies applying to deal with saturation? What other strategies would you recommend? Is saturation beneficial to customers? Explain what products usually saturate the market. Copy the last two questions because they are not in demand. The first three are there, but the last two, no. Okay. So copy the last two. Is saturation beneficial to customers? Explain. And what products usually saturate the market? Ready? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have, hmm. yeah, we have time for this. Saturation. When, um, when you finish, When you finish, we will come and share, right? The answers that you have uh, guessed with your partners. Ready? Ready? Yes. Nice. Let's go. I'm going to send you with the same groups that you were before. Sé que se andan conociendo. I'm going to send you the same. Let's go. Join, join. El mundo. Que lo probó, lo sabe. Renowned teacher, what does mean renowned? You are in mute, teacher. Microphone. You continue. <laughs> oh, silent. Okay, I check. I'm going to read the, the definition of the Cambridge Dictionary. Famous, right? If you are right. renowned, that means you're famous for something. Famous. Right? Like yeah. if one is como reconocidos. Reconocido, exactly. Oh, okay. That, that's renowned. Uh, yes. Okay. Y, no se perdió Eddie. Eddie sí, quizás se le cayó conexión. Maybe. Ah, pues ya lo voy a traer a otra, a otra persona para que no esté solo. Re, re, re own it is like rename it. Rename, renown. Renown yeah. es reconocido. Rename, rename es renombrado. Oh, renown. Hello, Renown, Adriana Escalante. Almost the same. Uh -huh. But Renown, reconocido, y Renain, renombrado. Okay. Renown. That when you say somebody is Renown, Renown, or, or, or Renain, same. Así es renombrado, también es famoso. Okay. Uh -huh. De renombre. Okay. Exactly. Cheers. Watch what effect shoes are in our product service. Um, product 
Can you mention what service or product are renowned in the market? <laughs> right now will be the mask that we use to, to about the COVID or the medicine. Uh, the, there are very saturation in the market because there are a lot of people selling them. I think. Okay. Re repeat, I don't understand. I don't catch the, the idea. Quality, quality. Products. So one of the effects is... Innovate. Companies okay. uh, need to lower the price of their products and quality too, because need to reduce. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice la como la de, el proceso de, de armado? El, En la de la calidad, o sea, si bajan el precio, tienen que bajar calidad, obviamente. But remember, oh. sometimes the price, the prices go down because of the saturation. Do you remember a couple of years ago that the, I don't know why they were producing so much gas that we were buying the, the gallon at the key one two dollars and something so it was very cheap because there was a big saturation and the people were not buying a lot right so okay. that pandemic like, no but it was before the pandemic it was, it was about 2007 uh, it's, it's like it's like a, a mask a face mask Mm -hmm. when, when, the, when the pandemic, uh, the face masks, uh, the price hike, and then, and then the, the price of face masks is low, low price, because the demand um, is... Yes, I remember we bought one, one box of 50 masks at... 50 dollars. 20... 25 dollars and we Angie. found it cheap it was 25 dollars the 50 masks what we did was that we didn't go out because we couldn't go out without a mask right we couldn't right. Uh, we didn't go out and if we went out where we tried to go where there were there were not too many people and if we hadn't seen people so close we kept the mask and use it twice more because it was too expensive. Yes. Imagine. That's right. It was K, 50 cents each mask. If you went to the pharmacy and you wanted to buy one, that was 50 cents. It's right. And now, 250 the box. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars the box. Two dollars, depending Two dollar. on how you buy it. Yeah. Two dollars. Mm -hmm. So the demand. Well, and there is, but there is a saturation of the of the product, right? And that demand has lowered because people, many people, are not using a mask anymore. In my case, I am always with my mask everywhere I go, but there are many people who already stopped using it. Me too. In my work, I use the mask. Mm -hmm. Because imagine we are with a lot of students, so we cannot be without masks. Or yes. they can help, or they can make us get sick, or we can make them get sick. So we have to protect them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay. I I leave you for you to continue. 
Sí. Tiene la saturación. Ajá. Sobre el precio. Ana, la... Ana, 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 this is not a level for you to be speaking Spanish. No more Spanish. No more translation, please. It does not. No, no. no Spanish. You know the you know the words. You understand what you're saying. It's obvious because you're telling me the whole translation, but please do not speak Spanish. No more. You're, you're about to finish intermediate. You cannot continue speaking Spanish. Okay. Okay, teacher. It is not for credit. No. Spanish. You speak Spanish the rest of the day. English only for two hours. <laughs> okay. So you won't forget it, right? Okay. Teacher, what, what do you mean the saturation in the market? A saturation of the market is when there is too much of one product in the market. Is, is the, the product extensive or much product or is the presence? No, the, the, pres the presence of... The position. Too, no. Too much product, like for example, with the cell phones. We were talking about yesterday that before there were the cell phones were not very common, right? At the beginning, but later on, people started buying more cell phones. More companies that sell uh, that sell cell phones started to appear. So there were many people buying cell phones. Now, who doesn't have one, right? So the market is saturated. And as a result, now we do not have to pay 700 for a phone. We pay 100 or less, right? Depending on what you want on your phone. But the saturation makes the companies lower the prices. Remember, we were mentioning that yesterday, right? The saturated pie, uh, not going so far. Uh, when we're talking about the, the rain, it is raining in all the country, right? And the, and the soil is saturated. It has too much water, mm -hmm. so it's saturated. That's, that's what we mean when we talk about saturation. There is too much of something. Okay. Then uh, Alicia and Nubia, they change the proportion. Uh, the no shoes, but the cell phone. The cell phone is mm -hmm. the market saturation. Is the Alcatel, for example. Mm -hmm. Is uh, every every kiosco kiosco creo que es kiosco is sells the Alcatel by the low price in the every cons in the, every people yes alcatel or lg cell alcatel, phone alcatel lg some two three uh, marks the low price alcatel lg in maybe xiaomi maybe mhm mm mhm mm Huawei, no sé. Oh, Huawei. Huawei. I think, I think they, they introduced the market when then the low price. Yes. Okay, and then uh, change the product for the cell phones. Mm -hmm. I think yes, and you, Annalisa? I was saying the toothpaste, for example, Colgate toothpaste is has a low lower price mm -hmm. than Oral B. Yes. Yes. Yes.
How do you spell with? Right. With. So, with. The answer. Uh -huh. How do you spell it? Yes, yes. Carla. W-I-T-H. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Carly, the, ah. the, the last answer, yeah, yes. With. Uh -huh. I am, how do you say, adormitada, <laughs> teacher? Sleeping. Yes. I'm like sleeping. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's Friday, right? <laughs> I have I have to work tomorrow in in Sunday too. Oh my goodness! It's so hard. Uh -huh. I work tomorrow, but just tomorrow, in the morning. Every day. Me too, but in the afternoon. You have to work tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, okay. from one p.m. to eight p.m. Wow. Yeah, yes. before I used to work in the afternoon, but then I changed my shift to the morning. So <laughs> I work, I, sometimes I work on Saturday like this, <laughs> but at least I'm free in the afternoon. That's why I, at the beginning, I said, no, I prefer to work in the afternoon because in the morning I can't sleep, but no. <laughs> 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 then I changed. So I had to sleep in the afternoon better. It's a when I say when I stay in my house, I can wake up uh, later. Yes, that's true. That's true. If you work online, it's better, right? To work and you wake up later. <laughs> I'm going to call you in a minute. Okay. Because it's about time. What product usually saturate the market? Running at this time, everybody comes running. <laughs> it's about time. It's about time. We will check the answers quickly before we go to sleep. Mm -hmm. A ver, who wants to cheer? One volunteer to chair. To chair. Mm. Victor has a great idea. So we will, we'll, we as a team uh, give many ideas. Okay, let's listen to Victor then. Victor. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I, I going to, I going to say the idea. Okay. In the in, in the question three. Okay, I am going to uh, I'm going to say something about our discussion about this question. Uh, some product renowned in that that is, is saturated in the market. Uh, we was uh, we were talking about the shipping service. After COVID, the shipping service is saturated, so uh, that uh, provoked effects in the market. Order price uh, was increasing, and some products are very, very expensive. The product that they shipping more. Yes. Um, other product that was saturated, the market uh, was. Victor. Yes. I think there is no it's the same meaning. 
renowned? Uh, the saturation of the shipping with the oh, saturation yes. of the market. Yes, yes, yes. Is 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 the positive? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are you are right. So um that that product are saturated the market are the dairy product the basics for food is special okay yes and what effect does market saturation in the price and quality uh, when when we have a uh, market saturated we uh, we have the the effect of the demand demand low when you have a uh, demand the price is high but what you have um what is the, the other term when you have saturated the market the price low mm -hmm. um okay and this is the this is the the, the special what strategies are the compare companies applying to deal with saturation? Some, some companies or supplier design a marketing campaign very aggressive to, uh, to make attractive the, their products. Um, yes, then like that. I, I'm going to say just one for the next team explain others okay. and what other strategies we recommend <laughs> what other strategies would you recommend okay adriana our classmate recommend kill them <laughs> okay adriana what strategies do you recommend is to kill them sales <laughs> um as says that maybe one strategy can be use the popular things that have in the market. Maybe use the things that be kind with planet or biodegradable things, or um, use this kind of modas. I don't know how do you say that thing in English. Tendons. <laughs> we, we, tendons. Yes, we we can use or um, uh, use our brand. Uh, to have this kind of tendons and make it have a real difference and make a real competitor in the market that is saturated. So maybe it can be a, a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. A ver, Rama, uh, let's see who I'm going to choose. Elsa Cristina, tell me, is saturation beneficial to customers? Yes, I agree. It's What's a benefit, the saturation, because there are many products and you can um, you can choose uh, many um, uh, many, many of them, many of them, and uh, it's, 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 it's great when you don't have many options, the price is high than uh, when you have a saturation market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Okay, what products usually saturate the market? Vamos a ver aquí, vamos aquí. Ana, what products usually saturate the market? We were saying in our group, the cell phones, uh, uh, sport shoes, a toothpaste, for example. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, that's it for today. And remember tomorrow is Saturday, right? So you will be sleeping at this time. Yeah, <laughs> I need to go to my bed. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. <laughs> okay, have a nice weekend. Thank you, you too. Okay, bye. Adriana Maria, present. Oh, present. My God. Adriana Sofia. Present, teacher. Anna. Present, teacher.
Teacher Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Present. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix. Present. Grace Michelle, Yvonne, Jennifer, José Alberto, José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present. Mario. Here. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Oh, Rebecca. 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 Victor Rebecca. No, I am Victor Manuel. <laughs> I said Rebecca, and I hear you saying present. <laughs> but Rebecca is not here, right? No. Rosie, Victor. Now, yes. Victor. I present. <laughs> Claudia Guadalupe. And Mauricio, Emilio. Okay. That's Present nice. teacher. Nice eyes. Well, hmm. let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. Let's okay. go to sleep. Uh, teacher, Claudia says present in the chat, but I think that uh, sí, he has Claudia, verdad? Yeah. Sí, she has problem with the microphone. Ok, ya le puse present a Claudia. Ok, bueno, see you. See you, see you. Hoy se queda conmigo Ana, ¿verdad Ana? Yes, miss. Ok, bueno, have a nice weekend. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 take care. Happy weekend. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. A dormir. Okay, Anna, how are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, better, better, better. I am in the, I'm in process to recover about my foot. Oh, do you remember that I was? What happened? Es guince. That twist, you twisted your ankle. But yeah, yes. it takes a lot of time, right? Yes, I, I, I stay three weeks mm -hmm. uh, using one tobillera that it was good for fracturas, not for is Ginza. So the doctor said that maybe I made a mistake using that kind of tobillera. So I started to use another one that the doctor said that is the perfect for the Ginza. Mm -hmm. uh, like two weeks ago, the next Saturday, not tomorrow, the next Saturday, I, I will have the appointment with the doctor mm -hmm. and he's going to say if i'm recovered totally recovered or mm -hmm. what happened wow so, so it's very bad mm -hmm, until now i'm wearing i'm using muletas and tobillera oh my goodness so you almost break your your foot one ligamento was broken a little bit and the tobillo was moved so that was happened. Wow. Wow, wow. So yeah, that is very, very bad. Yes, but I am I am I'm trusting in God that my foot will be okay. Yeah, but uh, ligamentos uh, they they join together, but you will be suffering about a, about three months. That's the time that takes. Mm -hmm. So at school, I have two. I I have two issues. Mm -hmm. One student came, miss, 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 and I say, wait, 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 and he stopped in front of my foot. And the other one was in the. I was 
to to walk in through the whole classroom and the halls in the school i'm i'm using my chair because it is a chair who have has rodos so i am using that to move to 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 get in the whole school one day i turned to the left and i i did it with a lot of speed so i golpe i hit my foot Ooh. Uh -huh. yeah you have to be very careful yes yes be careful but you know it's very difficult because yeah, no. you have kids at yes. home yeah. i have to prepare the lunch i have to prepare a lot of things mm -hmm. and at school it's very difficult uh, to stay in the same place it is difficult but i'm trying i'm trying but right now that you are there at home you should put a, a chair to put your foot so yes don't put it like this it has to be like this all mm -hmm. the time as possible right? yes i have a banquito near to my chair so when when i have time or space to do it, I, I do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's, for example, here, where I'm sitting, I have a, I have a little bench. It's like this, right? It's like this. Just for not being sitting with my, with my legs bent. It's not good to be like this too much time. Mm -hmm. So I, I have my feet like this, right? Yes, because, because that's what the doctor told me. The doctor told me you have to sit down like this, put a bench. So you put your feet on the bench and your feet don't go like this mm -hmm. because of the circulatory system. Yes, it is. And when you have a problem like the one you have right now, you should put a chair that is exactly the same level and put mm -hmm. your foot there every time it, if you can, right? And yeah, they take a lot of time. It's a lot of time. I remember the last time I had a twist, I twisted my ankle. I, well, I couldn't rest because I had to continue. Life continues, right? But imagine going up to the third floor it was very difficult yeah. in the school, but I was always walking slowly and I went up and I didn't come down until I finished all the classes. And when I came home, I put my leg here like this. Every time I could, I put it like this because yeah, it, it was very delicate. And it took me between three and four months to recover completely. Yes, yes. So it takes time. I know, but people sometimes uh, say, you don't do the proper things that you have to do. That's why you are, you are not recover, complete recover. Sometimes it feels like, makes you feel like you didn't do the, the right things but it i think that i did what i have to do but it take times to recover it it, yeah. it not depends it not depends on me yeah. it depends on the food yeah no the thing is that remember that you have to move as you say you're cooking you're walking if you were totally resting right you didn't have to be moving and carrying things. It will take less time. But if you have not dressed, of course it will take longer. Uh -huh. But what, it is, what is very important is that when you have a, a twisted ankle, you have to rest and that's mandatory that you have to rest at least the first three days because the rest of the recuperation depends on that. Mm -hmm. If you do not rest the first three days, that's terrible. That's a big, big deal. And it takes longer. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm waiting for the for better. Yeah, but you will be better. <laughs> you guys have yeah. to wait, right? And try not to not to do things that you shouldn't. Uh -huh. See, uh, I'm trying to stay no quiet. No, uh, without moving much. Aha, uh -huh. yes, but I have to 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 make things at home. Man. I cannot stay only watching and waiting for my food and everything. But you're using a bandage. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're using a bandage because that protects a little bit, right? It's not yeah. that it will help a, at all, but at least it helps a little to protect your foot. Mm -hmm. And try to rest as much as possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> as much as possible. I know being a mother, having a little child, it's difficult. But you have an advantage. You can tell your son, go get this, go bring me that one so he can help you. It's so nice to me. She helped me in everything. She always said, Mommy, what do you want? May I help you? And for example, in classes, she always say, Mommy, I'm covering you. <laughs> yeah, she said today, Mommy's coming. <laughs> and they were all laughing. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. Yes. but with muletas it's a little bit slower <laughs> yes yeah but somebody said Anna what do you think and she said mommy's coming and they said like oh okay okay <laughs> yeah but she's so nice well Anna I let you then for you to go rest okay yes. I, hope, I hope you continue better Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're welcome. Bye bye, teacher. Thank bye. you. See you. See you.